Hey, God bless you, Pastor Israel here. Um, I wanted to take some time to bring some encouragement into your day. I'm not sure what kind of day you're having. Maybe you're in need of some comfort today. The good news is God wants to bring comfort to your life. In fact, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3, Paul says that God is the father of compassion and the God of all comfort who comforts us in our time of trouble so that we can in turn comfort those in any trouble with the same comfort that we have received from God. This tells us two things. Number one, God wants to bring you comfort. God wants to comfort you in your time of anguish, in your time of worry, in your time of anxiety, your time of depression, in your time of fear. He cares for you and he wants to do something about it and he wants to bring you comfort. Now, God speaks to us through a variety of ways. He comforts us through a variety of ways, but one of the best ways God uses to bring comfort to our lives is through the word of God. And so I encourage you, if the word of God is not a daily part of your day, I strongly encourage you to start making it a daily part of your day. Maybe it's time you put the social media on pause a little bit. Maybe it's time you put the binge watching on pause or the working out. All of that's great, but maybe it's time you pause all of that for a moment and you brought in the word of God to your life so that God can fill your life with comfort, strength, and courage. Uh, if you read it, but maybe not regularly, Maybe it's time we start bringing it into our lives with regularity. That is how God loves to talk and bring comfort to his people. Now, the second thing that passage tells us is that God wants to use us as agents of comfort. You see, the second way that God uh, uh, brings comfort into our lives is through people. God uses people as blessings for other people. God uses people as vehicles, as instruments of love, of blessing, of hope. God loves to use people and God wants to use you. And so what I encourage you to do is today, don't just think about yourself. Think about another person. In fact, the person you're thinking about right now as I'm saying these words, as soon as this video is over, give that person a call. If, if a text message or an email, you can send that to them, but try to give them a call and talk to them and, and ask them what they're going through and how they're feeling and ask them if there's anything you can do for them. Chances are they might be going through something that you're going through or you've gone through in the past and they might be in need of the comfort that you already have. See, that's the great thing. We don't have to come up with our own comfort. All we do is pass on the comfort that God has given us to them. And that is how God works. That is how the family of God works. And that is how God wants to use you today. So remember, God is ready to comfort you and God is ready to use you as an agent of comfort to the lives of those around you. Well, let me pray for you and let me just uh, say a prayer or blessing for your day. God, I just pray whoever's watching that you would continue to comfort them, God, that you would continue to strengthen them. Lord, regardless of the situation, I pray, Lord, that you would remind them that you are above all of the situations and you hold them by their right hand and you will be with them no matter what. I pray that those who don't have a relationship with you and are watching this, that today would be the day that they invite you into their lives, that they say yes to you and choose to follow you so that they can know you as Savior, so that they can become a part of the family of God and so that they can begin to walk a new life. All of this we pray in your awesome and matchless name, Jesus. Everybody at home watching says, Amen. God bless you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.